You know, sometimes people are kind of like weird. Present company included. That's me, not you. You're not weird. Uh, what I'm trying to say, okay, uh, wait a minute. The date, yes. 8th of January 2016. Sometimes, you have to do some vlog and this is my vlog and it's in a dark room. I'm just relaxing on the bed. I'm talking about Facebook. I haven't done a vlog sleep in a long time, but of course I'm not sleeping yet because now it's only about 8.13 p.m. Uh, I had to open the door. My ribs are still hurting. God damn it. The back of my... Ah, uh, fuck it. So it was an insult, kinda, and I felt uncomfortable indeed from hearing it because, of course, I'm not a professional, so why would I care? The reason why people are still using Full HD is because it's fucking cheap now. You wanna buy a 4K? Fuck, man, it's expensive as fuck. Of course, if you are, if you are a professional, then... Well, you should put where, the money where your ass is, or something, mouth, I think. Uh, I mean, I've seen people, like, at events using still the compact cameras, and I know that they don't have 4K capabilities, and the maximum is, of course, uh, 720p, if they're lucky. Or if it's a newer compact camera, it's definitely 1080p. Well, at events... Videoing, yes, on a tripod. Somebody did that. I mean, whew. it's cheap, okay? Compact cameras, 1080p cameras, it's cheap. 4K cameras, fuck no, it's expensive as fuck. Uh, let's see here, a Mar Mark 5, Mark 5, the, you know, the camera, the Sony camera RX100 Mark 5, the newest one that shoots in 4K, but don't bother with it because it gets so hot in five minutes time it stops recording because it gets hot it's a safety feature if it gets too hot while recording in 4k well it'll stop its recording so if you are like holding the camera and not looking at the lcd screen and you just continuously video well and suddenly there's a moment that you want to capture and you look at your your camera and suddenly the red dot which indicates that it's recording is gone because of heat issues of course you can feel it the heat around your uh, fingers your right fingers because the unit the right side of the unit of the sony compact camera the rx100 mark 5 i think it's a compact camera i'm not sure it's definitely a mirrorless camera uh, when you feel the heat and it stops recording by itself, I've experienced it in uh, in the curve, the Sony store. So, if you really want to do vlogs or continuous videoing in 4K, don't go for the Sony RX100 Mark 5. Mark 5 is the newest one. It was launched. I'm not sure a couple of months ago. Or was it yesterday or today? No, I've uh, tested it about uh, less than one month ago. So I think it first came out a couple of months ago. Um, Malaysia is kind of like slow in terms of getting its new products from Sony or for other brands. So what was I saying? Why am I lambasting Sony? I love Sony products. I had one. I bought one a compact camera when I was in New Zealand back in 2011. Of course, it's shot in potato, potato cam uh, uh, quality. That means it's 480p. Can you imagine back in 2011, 480p? Oh my God, the pictures are so grainy, so, so what should we call it? So, so blurry. It's not like 720p or 1080p. It's just so, so unprofessional, as Rosalie would say. Uh, just imagine 480p, you're redoing in 480p in 2017. That is super unprofessional. It's like being the hand of Satan in hell. You're not professional enough, so you are you are uh, thrown into the depths of hell. So, Sony event, great. I love it. Except for the RX, not the RX, the Alpha 99. Why put it in a... Put it with a bloody lens, the huge lens, the lens that you see in the F1 
F1, uh, what should we call it, if events, the photographers, they will have a tripod just for the camera and the camera has a long, big lens and oh my god, it is so heavy. It's as if it's filled with sand. I was maybe it is filled with sand because it's lens, right? Lens is made of glass and glass is made from sand. So it's quite inept. Is there such a word as inept? It's, inept seems to be the wrong way to use. It's quite uh, true that uh, it's filled with sand, it's heavy. I wouldn't say it's filled with metal because metal is even heavier. But it was very heavy. Well, actually it's as if it's filled with sand and metal. Because the outside of that lens, that huge lens, it seems like it's made of metal, the, the, the outside body. I think it needs to be metal because you drop that motherfucker if it's plastic, it's going to break or crack. If it's metal and you drop it, definitely it's still be okay. It won't crack, but it will be it will be dented by the impact of the lens on the floor. What the fuck am I saying? Why am I talking about all these lenses? Why am I talking about Sony events? It was a great event. I love this ex Sony experience in uh, in Intercontinental Hotel. Although that being said, the food could have been better. Yep, the food could have been better. But love, I love Sony. Sony is great in event in terms of events because in Malaysia they are very very proactive in letting the public. Yes, the most important thing is letting the public, not just for the fucking media people, the exclusivity of the Sony products should be shared amongst the media people and of course the normals or as I call it normies so Sony is great in letting people experience their products it's a good thing Sony is very good in this public relations the PRs and whatever you call it is just what the oh god uh, is very very good in that term Panasonic in terms of uh, camcorder or Cameras, Panasonic is thumbs down, very bad, nothing at all. Panasonic is like more into the beauty products, into like cooking, kitchenware, beauty products as I said earlier, hair curlers and stuff in uh, Wanutamba and, and other places. They have all those fairs and it's really really open up to the public, which is good. Uh, Panasonic is good when they have influencers or pretty girls to like try to spread their gospel or the greatness of their products yeah Panasonic is great in those terms but I as a man I do not go and I do not need a kitchen set I do not need a stove I do not need beauty pro products and I do not need a hair curler because I do not have hair so Panasonic is great if you are a wifey or a girl so go with Panasonic they do not do their camcorders, they do not promote the camcorders or cameras at all in Malaysia. That's why Sony is the best. And the second best in terms of proactively promoting one's product is maybe Canon? No, not Canon. Olympus. Ah, the last event I went to Olympus was promoting their OMD Mark II, I think it's called. A great camera, but a bit expensive. Eight thousand ringgit, eight thousand ringgit, man. Fucking hell, that's expensive. That's close to two thousand US dollars just for the body, just for the mirrorless body. The OMD Mark II, OMD Mark II. Yes, it's the naming of one's product is very important, but sometimes it's just ridiculous. OMD, what does it stand for? Oh my dick. Yeah. OMD, oh my dick, something like that, or something like oh my god, OMG, or something like that. <sighs> Please just name something like the, the the Olympus Phoenix, yes, Olympus Phoenix Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. Don't give it a uh, what to call initials OMD, STD, DAP, UMNO, AMNO. Or some uh, triple K or KKK Ku Klux Klan. Don't give it some initials. That's so hard to find. It's like having a product line, uh, a many series of products in your company, 
akin to the number numbering uh, given to the Jews when they were holocaust by Mr. Hitler. So just give it a friendly name like the Phoenix, the the Blowjobber series, the the dildo dildo series, dildo one, dildo two, dildo mark three, something like that. It's just give it a name that one can attach to something like handsome mark one, handsome mark two, or something like a long name. Not you don't need to be one word. It can be three words or something like. I have a big dig mark one, or I have a big dig mark two, or I have a big dig mark three. Easy to follow names and memorable names for your cameras. That's very important. Don't name me like O M D mark two or O M G mark two or O M F mark three or L M F mark five. LMF stands for lazy motherfucker and you have lazy motherfucker is a Hong Kong band and if you haven't heard of heard of them go and search in the YouTube uh, it's called uh, Ham Garling H U M K A R L I N G three words Ham Garling that means motherfucker or something like that and LMF stands for lazy motherfucker <coughs> it's a great song it's a great rap song of course it's in Cantonese so unfortunately it's going to be lost, lost to you, or lost in you. Is it lost to you? How do you use it? Uh, the words that are coming out of my mouth. Uh, you will be lost for words, or you can't think of what they are saying because you don't understand Cantonese. So, why am I talking about products and stuff? And I'm gonna need to fart. <coughs> oh, thank you very much. It's better out than in, right? As Shrek would say. So. I was I saying yes the the what do you call this video is not about products or the Sony experience which I love I love the Sony experience it's great pretty girls oh my god intercontinental intercontinental hotel which I uh, went today Whew. girls are pretty the models there was one that took my eye it was the one with the sports bra and, and it's called Caucasian oh my god flat chested deliciousness you gotta check it out oh I shot her with my uh, with my regular full HD camera which denotes that I'm uh, non-professional and a derp and an asshole and a noob and I shot her with another camera because the models came on stage twice same old shit but twice same same uh, we call attire same costume the sports bra oh my god flat chested oh so delicious and the face is so cute and young oh god I think she's Pol Polish or Russian oh enough about that but uh, what was I trying to say uh, uh yeah I shot it with my unprofessional camera from uh, from JVC it's uh, number is GZ E one hundred, GZ E one hundred. Yeah, as I said earlier, I'll reiterate again. Please give your products a friendly name. Don't give it a fucking like robot's name or like K two S O or C three P O or uh, D I L D O. Don't do that. Give it a friendly name like the vagina. Yeah, Vagina Mark 1, Vagina Mark 2, Vagina Mark 3. Don't give it a GZ-E100 as if it's going to roll out of my tongue like as if I'm a robot. It's, we are not robots, okay? We need some friendly name to our products to make it more humanizable or as I say, more relatable. We will love our products more if it's something more human. Let's say a camera is named Samantha. I I won't I yeah Samantha I would love it more if I call it Samantha oh Samantha I'm gonna use you to shoot porn what was I saying uh ah yeah I besides using my unprofessional GZ E one hundred camcorder which I've been using for three years now or more years I also had the chance to use the uh. What's it called? RX one hundred Mark Four. Yep, 
I use that one to shoot the pretty Caucasian girl in sports bra. Oh my god. So maybe I get, ch get a chance to see her twice. One in full HD, unprofessional full HD, aka 1080p, aka 1920x1080. And I shot her twi uh, the second time I shot her with the RX100 Mark 4, not the Mark 5, which is the latest one. Mark 4, or was it Mark 3? I'm not sure. So I grabbed the nearest camera and I put in my SD card, which is, is a Class 10 U1. If it's a Class... If it's a U3, then that's the fastest SD card. You can you can like record into uh, record data into the SD card as fast as possible. So my one is uh, just a U1, so it's the lowest of the U's. Uh huh. So I slotted my SD card into the RX100 Mark IV as soon as possible, and asked one of the minders, "How do I uh, put the?" Uh, toggle the the buttons into 4K, then quickly, quickly, quickly. Then, ah, uh, just in time to capture her. So young looking, I, but I know she's over 20 years old because, well, I could only dream about her in legal terms and not in, uh, what do you call, not in breaking of the law terms. So, very, very cute girl. Very, very cute. So. One is in 1080p and or Full HD, and one is in 4K. When it comes to 4K, I can't convert it into numbers because I don't have a 4K camera, therefore I do not know the numbers at all. The numbers uh, meaning 920 times 1080, that's the, the numbers associated with the number of pixels, I'm not sure. Uh, 4K is roughly about 4 times, or is it 2 times of 1080p? Uh? I'm not sure. I think it's two times the 1080p. Ah, fuck it. I don't care. So one is in 4K. Hopefully the 4K did record, and uh, you get to enjoy it with me, because uh, some girls are very, very. They are so beautiful. It. I mean, it's it's a crime not to like, like capture the moments. You know, cameras are. Uh, to capture the moment even with or without their knowledge yeah it's called voyeurism and uh, what better thing to do than to share it with the universe don't just keep it in your secret folder share it with the world man beauty is important beauty is forever captured in film we don't care whether the original host is dead or very old film videos they will live on forever in digital form or in celluloid look at the films look at look at beautiful Leia played by what's her face Carrie Fisher will forever be fappable if you watch the Star Wars 1 not sorry Star Wars episode 4 5 and 6 we don't care whether she's very old or not or 6 feet under she is still usable, fappable material thanks to the films which immortalized her forever. Ah, fuck. What am I saying, man? This, this vlog sleep is just too harsh. What I wanted to say is nothing to do with the Sony experience, nothing to do with big black African cocks, nothing to do with girls who look very young but is indeed old and uh, of the legal age of being what they call that word being consummated with or consummated by consummate by uh, intercost yeah they, they are it's legal to intercost with them i'm not talking about the sony experience which i love i love the sony experience it's great shit it's the best the Panasonic, I'm not talking about Panasonic, I'm not talking about cameras or cooking wares or kitchens or beautiful influencers or whatever I've, uh, whatever English that came out of my mouth. Of course, my English can be grammatically in error. But do, do forgive me. Okay? Do forgive me. I'm just tired. Came back from Intercontinental Hotel because of the excellent, excellent 
Sony experience. Lovely. I wasn't talking about that. This video is not about that. The video, this video is because I wanted to highlight Facebook. I always go through the Facebooks. I always liked all the all the corporations, all the malls because I want to be privy towards or privy on. I'm not sure which one. Privy to privy towards the happenings and all those activities that these malls uh, put out. Like tomorrow, Bajai Times Square is going to have a some kind of a, what do you call that word? You know the trend that they have now? Uh, uh, mannequin challenge, yeah. Mannequin challenge, 6.45pm, Bajai Times Square tomorrow. First 120 people there will get a goodie, something which is a useless goodie, it's just stupid stuff. But it's the experience that I want to... Give me an excuse to go out, okay? That's the most important thing. So, and today, Sunway Velocity, strangely enough, says uh, in the Facebook, Oh, today! Today itself, come to Sunway Velocity because we have a, a Chinese from China. Yes, Chinese from China. That's what I like to call them. Because Chinese all over the world... If you say Chinese, does not mean they are from China. It's, it means they are Oriental people from some place. Not only China. There's Chinese from Singapore. There are Chinese from Malaysia. Chinese Americans, Chinese British, or what they call that, uh, BOT, British Overseas Born, Born, uh, Chinese British Over, shit, what was that term, that insult for Chinese born in the Brits, in, in, in Britain, uh, it's a very derogatory term for Chinese people born in, in Britain, I forgot already, it's been many, many years, so, what was I saying? Oh, Chinese people, they are, they are Australian Chinese, so I have to like, be more specific. The Chinese badminton star, a female fe uh, fella from China, she is not that pretty, but it's a celebrity, the star power of her. If I knew that she was coming, at least I would come in as in C-O-M-I-N-G, not C-U-M-M-I-N-G, okay? Just get it, get it straight, okay? So if I knew she was coming in some way velocity, sorry, not coming in Sunway Velocity, coming to Sunway Velocity because coming in Velocity is as if I'm saying that she's having an orgasm in Sunway Velocity more which is sounds kinky and might be sexually fulfilling for her. So she was in, uh, of course she's not that capable, okay? she's not that pretty but given no choice if you are on an island and she's the only one there, would you rather fuck the coconut or fuck a female person of course you choose the female person right unless there was a stranded seal on the beach and the seal is wheeling why not if there's a goat on an island why not so Facebook is very important I use it I find out the dates and stuff like that and I go to those events and sometimes when I'm trolling or going through Facebook and suddenly there's a picture that is like not happy. A picture of a small child on the bed and lots of IV lines going through the body of the small child as if in intensive care. Not as if in intensive care but it is in intensive care. It, it just grabs your feels or gives you the feels, feel sad. You know what I do when I see that? I unfollow the person who has like shown that in my Facebook feed so they share around you know all these things these things that are I mean that's a bit sad you know it gives you the feels it makes you want to jerk not jerk shit that sounds like masturbation uh, makes it is a tear jerker you know I don't like to see those so I unfollow so a lot of the uh, the cosplayers, they young or old, those who share all these like this not disgusting these these uh, videos that is like sad. I just unfollow them. I won't see any feeds from them because oh fuck, it's just like my YouTube channel. If the first comment from you, I do not know you at all, and you criticize me, whether it's positive or negative or it's true or false. If it's negative, shadow ban. 
and if you like my content or you, know, you always see my content you comment on it I won't I won't see it people won't see it so it's the same same thing with Facebook if you you show something that's ugly as fuck you know it, it is like grabs you in the balls as in it makes you sad you could grab the balls crush it like Darth Vader makes you like gives you pain gives you pain in your heart I will unfollow unfollow the person and even worse than what's even worse than children sick and dying on a hospital bed intensive care ward or whatever cancer ward is blood yes if a person has an accident like the wrist has been chopped off or blood everywhere and it's a close-up of the wound the wound is open and you can see everything inside i'm not a doctor i am squeamish towards blood if i see blood on myself which is okay if i see blood on other people and they are near me i will be squeamish i will, there will be goosebumps everywhere including the scrotum or the sac that covers the testicles yes it's disgusting if i see blood i will unfollow the person who did that or who shared that if you share it or you like make it known to other people of this disgusting bloody picture i will unfollow so that's my we lock to sleeps but or what not it's not supposed to go into all the uh, sony experience and stuff but it happens and i love sony man fucking hell sony is the best man i love it sony please have more of these experiences because the action cam in IOI City Mall, my god, that's a great experience, my god. I wish I had more time to play or use the facilities of District 21 because I would love to climb up the wall uh, even though they fucked up my triceps for like say one week because my triceps were fucked doing that one activity that scared the shit out of me then made me cry like a girl if the girl were to shout fuck while going around the ceiling, my god. If Comic Fiesta Day 2 wasn't around, I would have spent more time going through all those intensive things, you know, those uh, climbing walls and whatnot and scuba diving, no, not scuba diving, uh, all those things there in District 21. Sony Experience, Sony is the greatest company ever in Malaysia. I love you, Sony. I love you. And Sony, if you, uh, if you watch this video, right, I sure, I'm sure you did not watch this video, but if you if happenstance that you did right there's never a possibility of zero percent of you not watching my my videos you know that model that wore a sports bra you know there are two always two models going to the stage going on the stage one is a chinese there's only one chinese girl in sports bra so she and the caucasian both of them sports sporty ones I think the Chinese girl had a racket, whereas the other Caucasian girl with sports bra and tight leggings, you know, the Caucasian girl, please employ her again because damn man, she's a, she's a, what do you call, what's that word, she's a keeper, I love Sony, Sony, I love you, oh one more thing, is hey, Sony, I love that, Handycam, the A AXP55 or AXP55. Please sponsor me, man. I'm going to use all my videos using your AXP55. You already said, I mean, Mr. Rosley has already said I'm, I'm unprofessional. I want to be professional with 4K video capabilities because I know I'm professional. I'm definitely a professional. So sponsor me that camera and I'll love you long time. And definitely, I'm gonna like promote the hell out of your AXP 55. I love you, Sony. Sony Experience. Love you, long time.